<laughs> we are really kind of building up to the potential reopen into this bull market. My question, though, is we've had a lot of supportive high-frequency data over the past few days. Has any of it changed the broader outlook for the reopening? Um, actually, um, we are looking through um, the uh, situation right now and uh, expect uh, a quite uh, handsome recovery after things settle down um, in terms of consumption as well as potentially uh, real estate, so home purchases. Um, those would be the two big items that we watch out for um, in order um, for the um, earnings upgrade to come through. Are there risks to the downside, though? What are you sort of avoiding in terms of those risks? Um, in terms of risks, um, we'd be watching out for the situation in the United States because uh, right now I think it's an uh, asset uh, reallocation uh, situation. Um, and therefore, um, if the states um, come through um, with better uh, rate hikes, and then the liquidity would be negatively affected over here in Asia, I believe. And um, therefore, um, in terms of earnings outlook um, coming up to the result season March, uh, that's another thing uh, to watch out for in terms of potentially um, consensus earnings upgrade. So uh, we do um, are quite um, optimistic uh, about the outlook um, in the next three months. How resilient are earnings expected to be, particularly after we get past, both on a macro and earnings side, the positive base effect? Do you expect significant further re-rating? Um, I believe so far, even throughout the pandemic, um, the earnings listed companies are quite resilient uh, in China. Uh, surprisingly. And therefore, when the reopening is coming through, I believe there should be upside surprises in terms of earnings guidance when it comes to the result season. That would be sometimes in March. Do you like Chinese big tech now that it seems like the regulatory direction has changed? Um, well, since they account for quite a big portion of the index, and therefore, if there's any momentum on the upside, uh, it's almost unavoidable for the tech name share prices to move up. So um, if the rally uh, were to continue, then um, it is almost unavoidable for these uh, share prices to move up uh, further.